Well, hello there. Welcome to Crazy Cribs. Uh, State Park Edition. Cab cabin Edition? One of those editions. But uh, we're here at a uh, local state park in Nebraska. We've rented a cabin for two nights. I've got my wife behind the camera, and then we've got the homie Kevin upstairs. He's been in a couple of videos, but I guess we'll just give you a tour of it. We're in cabin number seven at Mahoney State Park. Did I say Mahoney State Park? I don't know. We're at Mahoney State Park. Uh, so it's a two-story cabin. You got your kitchenette here and and whatnot. Uh, there's some stuff in here like uh, pots and pans and whatnots that you can use. You got a small dining room here. That's it. You got a nice view out into the trees right there. And there are two bedrooms downstairs. So we'll check those out just to give you guys the grand tour of the spot. We have a bathroom right here. Pretty simple bathroom, but it'll get the job done. And then Kevin's upstairs listening to something. We've got one bedroom here with four bunk beds in it. So we could have a bunk bed party if we wanted to, but. But we all snore. <laughs> yeah, everybody snores. And then we've got. I guess you consider this the master bedroom here was queen size bed, I would assume. But but the best part is upstairs here. Where are you gonna sell that home? What you gotta do. This by far is kind of the coolest area you've got. Second story, just for hanging out, really. TV on the wall, you got your fan, bulb, and ceiling. We've got a fireplace here. That's going to be the next step since I've already cracked a beer open. We're going to get the fire going. And uh, you've got a full 360 degree view with all the windows out here. Those do not pull out into beds, but you do have a Murphy bed in here. So I think Kevin might sleep up here. I would. And instead of the uh, bunk beds. But... At least for one night. Yeah. So, so we're going to get ourselves a fire going quick, and uh, we've got some board games and whatnot to play. We brought our Roku so we can stream some movies on the TV, and we've got a very interesting dinner to cook tonight uh, with some good ingredients. We'll see how it turns out, but we'll get that into that later. Uh, for now, we just got to get the fire going. So. Better than we could do, probably. I think we'll just start with those two pieces. You don't have to. <laughs> no, you can chill. Alright, we gotta get dinner started, guys, because... It's going to take a couple hours for the meat to cook and uh, maybe the wife will explain it to you because Lady Quady can let you know what it is because uh, she kind of came up with what recipe we're going to cook and we've got an instant pot here, got some food over there, a bunch of food in there, some drinks and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell them our can, secret ingredient for the answer. night? Oh, tell them anything you want. Well, I asked if you were going to. Well, they're going to know here in a second. What do I need to get out of here? Probably my Dr. Pepper out of the freezer first. Thank you. We'll let the cat out of the bag. This is the secret ingredient for the night. But that we one's have, mine. That one's hers. We've got multiple Dr. Peppers with us. Uh, so the main ingredient tonight, I guess the there's going to be an ingredient pretty much in everything we're eating. Except and the salad. Except the salad. We're going to use Dr. Pepper. So we have ourselves some premium pork butt here. Uh, this is 3.43 pounds. 
And we're gonna get this tossed in an instant pot to make pulled pork. Uh, my wife was awesome and did like pre-mix a bunch of the ingredients. Is this the one for the meat? It was right next mm -hmm. to the meat? Okay. And then do I need anything else out of there? Not for the meat. Not for the meat. What we're is gonna do? Here? So we're doing a Dr. Instant Pot Dr. Pepper pulled pork. And there is pork butt, Dr. Pepper, water, and then in yeah, in the the glass thing there is Worcestershire sauce. That um, smells good. Chili powder, granulated garlic, seasoned salt, paprika, and salt and pepper. And, uh, and you ba you basically just put it all in there and let it cook. Twenty minutes per pound. Per pound thawed, and this is three point four three pounds, so it's gonna take us a little while. Uh, and then we're gonna let this cook for a while, and then we're gonna get the beans going. The Dr Pepper Dr baked Pepper beans. beans. And we've also got a Dr. Pepper drink with some liquor in it. And we've also got and some... And stay tuned for the, the dessert, secret the Dr. Secret Pepper des dessert. <laughs> Dr. Pepper dessert. Yeah. I don't know why we're doing Dr. Pepper. <laughs> just like... Well, it's because... It's because of your it's secret because dessert. because of the dessert. Yeah. Dessert. And so we were like, well, let's just do everything Dr. Pepper. So uh, we're just going to dump all this in here. That's it? Yep. Okay. Um, this pork butt does have like the netting on it guess we're supposed to just probably take that off. I don't think in this format we would cook it with that, right? I don't know. What's the purpose of this net, guys? Let me know. I don't know if that's for like a smoker type of thing or what, but we don't cook a lot of pork at our house. We've got a bunch. We buy a quarter cow every year, so we've always got beef in the freezer. Um, so we figured we'd try something different, but aqua on there. You take one of your cans. Oh no, take one of the bottles. Oh. These bottles are 16.969. So about a little less than half. You said 12 I thought. No, eight. eight. Seven point five. That's pretty good. That's good. Don't be afraid. He doesn't ever listen. No. Don't, don't hold back. Don't hold back. Yeah, this isn't going to mix together very well since we put everything into one dealy whopper doohickey here, but it's all going to just melt and get itself together. We'll put it down in the... Fizzing? Yeah. A little bit of fizz in there. Why would you be doing that? It's Dr. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> No, I know, but what's in, the, what's in the spices? Oh, that's making it fizz? I don't know. Chili powder, maybe? maybe. Should we get all that sauce in there? What temp does this cook at? High pressure. <laughs> that's it? Yes. I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time, y'all. Set the timer to 20 minutes per pound. Use... Natural release. All right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pressure cook the meat. Um, it's supposed to be 20, roughly 20 minutes per pound. So we're gonna set it for like an hour and 15 minutes ish. Um, and it's set to high. And the vent is closed. After this, we let it depressurize on its own for 10 minutes, and we should be good to go. And uh, you can the food do that with that, too, if you want to. Okay. Well, and um, action. Action! Uh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Do we have, like, where's the... Do we have a... You need a tablespoon of... Spatula. Tablespoon of oil on medium heat. Medium low. Medium low. I don't know. So we're gonna start the beans. I have never done like baked beans. Uh, I've never actually make made them. Does that look like a tablespoon? Good enough, right? On medium heat. Yeah. <laughs> She's giving me directions. Now, now you're gonna you're gonna saute the onion in that. Um, 
We've got some chopped onion here. Kevin chopped the onion off camera. And then Get you're going to add a month. teaspoon of garlic powder to that. We've got garlic powder here. Beans. So this needs the garlic salt on it. Yep, half a teaspoon. Should be good. We're sauteing onions. You can throw your beans in the colander. Right now? Sure. Give them a little rinse. How do they smell? They smell like beans. <laughs> Rinsing my beans over here. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good enough. Yeah, they smell funky, that's for sure. It's not doing much. So, what is that, Jeff? It is half a cup of Dr. Pepper. I haven't put the molasses in yet. Two teaspoons of ground mustard, a quarter cup of light brown sugar, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of ketchup, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. A third of a cup. So now you're going to put your beans in and a half a cup of Dr. Pepper. In here? Yeah. We've got our washed beans and our sautéed onions. And then make that half a cup. Half a cup. I feel like it's a little bit more, but I don't know. One well, for me, one for you. There we go. You're going to stir and simmer for six to seven minutes. Okay. All right, it's been a few minutes, guys. We're going to go ahead and put the rest of this in here. So this is our seasoning and our more Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper everything. Molasses. 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 There's, that's where you're going to get your color from. Molasses. Yeah. Simmer for another eight to 10 minutes. All right, so we've simmered these for a few minutes and they've taken on that tasty bean color, uh, but we need to uh, dump them in the pan and we're gonna bake these to get our baked out of the baked beans. Gotta make sure you get all those oil in the pan. You don't wanna lose any of your oil. So we've got all our oil out of there. Now we're gonna put the onion. We probably could have gone with a smaller pan, but it'll be okay. Uh, how long did these go in for? 20 minutes. Baked beans into the. Set my oven on. We'll just leave it up there. Shut that off so we don't burn ourselves. This is on the countdown, so. For 10 minutes. 10 minute countdown. And then we also have a salad to make. You can do that. I did it already. Oh, salad is already made. We bought a chopped like bag salad. So we've got that coming. And uh, yeah, once this is baked up, we're going to get to eating and see what all this Dr. Pepper tastes like. Tasty cakes. Beans. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to try. I don't remember. Do you remember what the name of this was? Or just. I don't know if there was a name it, but there was a recipe that we looked up that is screwball and Dr. Pepper. Uh, if you've watched for a long time, screwball is about the only hard liquor that I actually enjoy drinking. Uh, and like I can sip on this straight and it's good stuff. Kevin's never had screwball, so he's going to give it a shot. It's a peanut butter whiskey and I think it is amazing. I think it was just a screwball Dr. Pepper, but 
Yeah, that smells good. Dr. Pepper. Go for it. Take a, Sweet. take a sip of it. Out of here? I don't care. Alcohol is going to kill all the hemorrhoids. It's a little sweet. That is peanut buttery. But it's, yeah, it's got a good peanut butter flavor. How do they do that? I like it with root beer, but we're going to give Dr. Pepper a shot. So the recipe was just one to one. Uh, and we're going to keep it pretty, pretty uh, basic. We don't have any like shot glass to measure this out, which is kind of a bummer. We can do, we can, no, we're not going to do that. Eyeball it. So these, these are all going to be mixed differently at this point, but it'll be all right. My wife's not a huge fan of liquor or drinking, so we'll give it's her... It's not that I'm not a fan. I just what about haven't ice? found a whole lot, sure, that I like. actually like the taste of. That looks like coffee right there. It just looks like Dr. Pepper. True. Ooh-wee. good like I don't taste a. I guess they're all mixed differently I don't taste a ton of Dr. Pepper it's still it's still got a lot of peanut butter in it but it cut it down a little bit. bit yeah on top it cut down the peanut butter for sure a little bit of carbonation mm. maybe if we had appropriately measured these out and maybe a little bit nicer cups but here we go I'm a fan you gotta try it look at that too bad you guys won't see her face because she's gonna make the face <laughs> Drop the camera. It's very peanut buttery, buttery. It does, yeah. I mean, and they're probably not mixed properly. But Overall, this is very peanut buttery. I, yeah, I I enjoy this stuff. Like usually, what I'll do is like one shot. You know, I'll take a drink out of a bottle or whatever and put one shot in there, so it's not near as strong. You know what I think would finish this off pretty nice is like a maraschino cherry. Or cherry That's a little cherry isn't that juice. what we talked about? Yeah, getting cherry, getting the garnish for it. Yeah, we did not get a garnish. We're not that fancy. Maybe a little sour to of the cherry to cut it. I don't know. To cut the sugar. I drink a lot of shitty beer. <laughs> well, between the it's cup really and... sweet. Like I could definitely. It is mix very this, sweet. Mix yeah. it down a lot. You know, a whole lot. Less. You know, go three to one or two to one. Yeah, and go heavier on ice. Instead of half and half. Yeah, a couple, couple things of ice. But it's good. Uh, this has been on its ten minute down cycle. Ooh, yeah. I should get something. You should always just listen to his wife. It squirted on me a little bit. Squirtle. All up on the cabinet. The rental. Why would they have nice things? <laughs> that smells good too. I'm excited for the Dr. Pepper meats and, and beans. I've had Dr. Pepper beans before in a video, but those were straight out of a can. There's a company, you can get like Dr. Pepper baked beans and they have like a spicy jalapeno one or something. And I've tried a couple of them. Uh, I think it might even be in the title, Dr. Pepper Baked Beans or something like that. But we're going to try making our own, obviously. It's the first time I've ever made baked beans. You know, never done that, but pretty stoked on it so far. Uh, as far as the barbecue sauce that we're going to throw in there, we had this at home. I don't know what, did you buy this for something else? I don't know where this came from. He's going to check the expiration date, folks. And it expired in uh, November of 2021. Oh, God. So we're still going to use it because we don't have anything else. Uh, this is why he loves me. Yep. I almost bought some today, but we're going to have expired barbecue sauce today. It looks pretty good. We're going to pull that. We're gonna use their big bowl here. Do you wanna dump it in the colander over the bowl? And transfer it? No, I feel like I can oh, just yeah, get plenty, uh, plenty of grab there. I think I can stick it with a couple of the 
knives that we've got here. We'll use this thing, whatever that is. <laughs> it's a little dirty. Everything's a little dirty in here. Shout Plug out. from Honey State Park. Shout out to the housekeeping crew. No, I shouldn't be a dick because. Okay, I don't know if we're supposed to have all this juice in here with it or what. No? No, because you're going to put the barbecue sauce in there. All right. Save that juice. Well, yeah, I'm not dumping that juice. That, that, that looks like some pretty tasty juice. Maybe maybe we'll do juice shots later. <laughs> like, did you watch the video with the pickle shot? My wife doesn't watch my videos. Somewhat disappointing. <laughs> you should see her face. Although sometimes I'm pretty glad that she doesn't watch them. Now she's going to watch them. Hey! There's going to be a lot of hate coming toward me now. Oh. Thanks for that. Hey! We needed that earlier. You know? Powder. Powder. We're gonna make one. You would think they would There's have There's potholders in the truck, but... Oh! Found it. Alright. Oh, they look like baked beans! Those look amazing. I'm excited about those. Those look perfect. You guys did Caramelized good. Caramelized sugar and Dr. Pepper and onions. And we still got some. We're still pulling the pork. Pulling it's, pork over here. It's more work than I expected. Use this good. Filming. Okay, so we've tried a little bit of the pork on it on the side here Because uh, we're all slightly nervous about the barbecue sauce being so So expired, but we're gonna we're gonna do some of it in there And if we got to just save the pork because the pork is cooked amazing. It's very good We're gonna dump some of that it Smells good I'm gonna do it on a barbecue sandwich. Mm. The beans are good. Wife's got a plate going. You guys can see that. The beans look amazing. And uh, she for forego the she went she for went forego forego for went the barbecue sauce. Skipped. I like naked Skipped meat. It. Naked meat. Naked meat. She does like naked meat. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go in on these beans first. We've got the salad here. Uh, that should be pretty tasty. I've also, I bought some coleslaw. I might put some coleslaw on the sandwich. We shall see for a, a Southern style or Memphis style, but I'm most excited about these beans here. <laughs> they smell really good. Uh, and kind of wish we had some bacon, but maybe next time. They are very good. It's different, like it's, that ain't like out the can. That's nothing like out of the can. That is 100% a different flavor. Have you tried them yet? No. Well, I mean, I ate the one out of the sink, but. <laughs> That's so much better. It's, yeah, it's, it's like a completely different flavor profile. It tastes than a homemade. Can of, can of Bush's beans or whatever. Yeah, it tastes homemade. There's nothing wrong with Bush's beans. They're, those are great, but these are. Light years ahead. I, yeah, can't believe we've never made baked beans, but all right, let's give this sandwich a whirl. Dr. Pepper sandwich. Mm. As long as the barbecue sauce doesn't kill me tonight, I'll die a happy man. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> that sandwich looks badass. That's really good. Mm. Oh, holy hell. Is it good? <laughs> I think so. So we decided to Kevin try. Kevin might be having an Kevin's orgasm already. over there. <laughs> this is YouTube. That's not appropriate. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> we took some of the juice out of the Instant Pot. I've got a cup of it here. Kevin's got a whole bowl of juice. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's going in on, but figured why not try it like a like a French dip, get the au, au jus on there, see how see how that affects the flavor. I don't feel like I'm getting enough, but I'll get her on there. That's way better. <laughs> That Dr. Pepper sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a Dr. Pepper <laughs> jus. <laughs> the Spilling doc- over the side. <laughs> it can go on my beans. I'm I'm fine with that. Mm. It's Dr. Pepper, like chili pepper. You uh, do taste the chili pepper in the sauce, but I didn't taste it you on the could, meat. That's when I when we turned the instant pot on and it started pressuring up, I could I could smell the chili pepper, mm. chili powder, whatever. This is amazing, y'all. If you're going to try this, I would recommend not having expired barbecue sauce, although it's fine. If the video's out, then you know I survived, so. Cheers. Uh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Now we're drinking it. <laughs> it's good. It's better than the pickle juice. <laughs> I'll give it that. That's how good it is. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> we're just drinking it. I need this with chili. I need like, this needs to be, I need this chili. Mm-hmm. This kind of, this needs to be chili for sure. I will eat this the rest of my life. Mm. All right. We got to just cut the video okay. at this point. <laughs> Uh, so we have a s'mores bar set up here, and so our secret ingredient tonight are Dr. Pepper Peeps that we are going to use along with these Hershey bars and our not expired graham crackers, and uh, we're going to make them that way, but we've got a few other things. We might try doing Cadbury eggs on one, and then we've got Andy's mints, we've got regular Peeps. And marshmallow dip. What is this? Peeps delights, like chocolate dipped peeps, chocolate butt peeps. Uh, so we're gonna see how this turns out. I've it's been a while since I've cooked s'mores. I mean, these are just candy coated schmallows, I guess. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. Hey, do you want some more? Better. Of course, I want some more. It's been a long time since I've had one of these. It's got like a, I don't know, I'd say a medicine-y smell. And Kevin was kind enough to go grab some twigs. It, it feels like 15 below outside right now. It's very cold. We're going to torture this poor little chicken in here. Try not to burn our stick. Or camera. Burning my fingers. You need a longer stick? <laughs> Those are so big. <laughs> hey. That's, a, was, that's an abusive <laughs> stick. <laughs> it was dark out and very, very cold. Was it like melting? I don't know if it's really melting, but I haven't like... Maybe Pete's, well, yeah, Mariah. Oh, oh. Like, oh, now it's flaming. Burning the sugar off of it. All right. We might need to crack a window. We're going to give it another second here. <laughs> he burnt oh. his face off. I mean, the inside looks normal. <laughs> All right, Dr. Pepper Peeps. Dr. Pepper Peeps. Can I spill? Still smell it? Nope, it just smells like burnt chicken face. You can definitely taste a different flavor in there. I mean, I didn't eat one without cooking it up, but that's definitely got a different flavor to it, y'all. Good, though. Dr. Pepper? I don't know if it's Dr. Pepper. Does it look like a peep anymore? No. No, it's good though. Just a small Oh, 
You prefer that over a regular s'more? Mm. Maybe. The 23 extra flavors. 23 extra flavors, yeah. Mm. 24 with mallow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chocolate and graham cracker. Yeah, that's not bad, y'all. Uh, definitely a different flavor. We'll just, here, let me eat one of these that's not been cooked. That just looks like a turd. Does it taste like that pepper? There's a hint of it in there, but it's not like a overpowering flavor. Pleasant? It's not bad. No, that's not bad at all. One of a kind flavor, y'all. Well, these guys are going to get some s'mores going. <laughs> and we're going to hang out for a bit, so... I'll see you guys a little bit later. Gotta have an extra blanket. Don't get the hair. <laughs> we found a few hairs in the bed. But what do you do, right? You definitely don't take your clothes off. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I should probably put the blanket underneath, but I don't know which. What are you talking to about? Trust more. The blanket. Uh. Okay. That's really close to my face. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to bed. I'll see you guys. That's really close. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> some cute little coffee cups here drinking some Dunkin and uh, it's a cold one and it snowed out there I don't know if you guys will be able to see uh, it didn't snow a ton but there's snow on the ground much so uh, more so than yesterday <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out here we're actually staying for another night but we're just gonna enjoy it uh, so I don't have to film anything uh, and we're gonna hang out dinner last night that was definitely different uh, all the Dr. Pepper everything but it was all good uh, what did we come up with the name for the drinks the drinks had a name there I don't know if it was a name or it just they said they taste like they were supposed to taste like caramel corn yeah and if you thought about it when you took a drink it actually had a somewhat of a caramel corn flavor to it so it wasn't bad um, I think that's about it y'all cool little cabin and it's nice that they have a fireplace uh but the one next door does have a walkout deck on the second floor <laughs> just, i didn't we see we were it. like one off from probably the best cabin in this little block here i think but uh hope you guys enjoyed it we'll be back to some truck camping shortly uh and as always stay tuned for the next adventure and i'll see you in a bit